Hey, I'm back. What's up? Uh, if it's different from the last video, I had to delete it because I was talking about something. That we weren't supposed to, so... It's none of you guys... I was asking if I was going out on the day of, uh, Grand yeah. Fest, so... No, you're not. You're not going out. Alright. That's, that's all I want to know. Yeah. You said the 12th or the 15th. Yes. Yeah, no, you're not working the... You're not... Going, going out. out. Going out. Sorry, sorry. We just have a bad habit of... Saying work, but it's not work. Just a long issue of stuff I don't want to talk about. That's why I kind of do this. It's kind of like a, like a thing to fill the hole. Yeah. Not being able to work. That's kind of why I do this. But then people are like, oh, why don't you make this your job? We don't want to make this our job. Because then it won't be fun anymore. Yeah, also... It won't be something to look forward to. It'll be something that we don't want to look I just don't, to. I just don't... I just, I just don't want to, like, mess around and find out. I, I, I just want to be... We know we want to. We know where we want to be. And I like a low key life. I don't like the idea of being spotlighted and being someone's like hero. I I I, I guess I kind of mind it. Like oh, if I help someone go through dark times, then great. Uh, I'm able to help someone go through their darkest times and make sure it saves someone's life so they don't do anything rash. But I have no intention of becoming like Jack Sepakai or whatever else. I mean, that's their guys' stuff, and there's a lot of other people that want to do it. So, and I'm just content with living a peaceful life. And, and that's what some people, like, they just want to live, like, a normal life. I just want to, like, be able to do this. Talk about stuff and, you know, play games. I didn't, I didn't get the time for, like, some of the older YouTubers, like, some of them who have left. But I understand why some of these YouTubers have left, and it's never been in the platform for almost a long time. I get that. I understand it. They just wanted to live normal lives, or something happened to the point where recording just can't happen anymore. Me, me and Zach aren't going anywhere. Until the day we decide to stop playing video games, we're going to be here for a while. Besides, I have so, many other, I still have so much stuff on my point. We'll probably be recording when we're in our 40s. I mean... The ton as of, long as YouTube's the still ton, around. The ton of Capri Sun's 40. Yeah, Luka Jin's Luka Jin's! Luka Jin's in her 40s, and she's still fucking rocking it. So... Is she? Yeah. No way. Yeah, she's she's in her 40s. So is, like, John? Third on John? Dude. Chaka Conroy's the youngest in the group. He's eight years older than us. Yeah, he's like... He's 32. Yeah, he's 32. I think he's going to turn 33 this year. We're, 20, we're turning 25 in December. Oh, gosh. Mid-20s. And I'm still a bachelor. Yeah, so... And I kind of want to keep that <laughs> yeah, I'm for a while. For, for, pro for, preferably for a while. I, I was offered my... I'm not gonna go too into it, but someone wanted to date me, but I didn't want to ruin our friendship, so that we're leaving it at that. We agreed. I agreed. I just said I didn't want to. If things were to go bad between us, I didn't want us to lose our friendship, so I just didn't want to date him. And he's like, "All right, that's fine." And he kind of agreed because we're really close friends, and we didn't want to. Like, if something were to happen between us and we break up, it would be awkward to be friends again. So that's why we decided not to date. But, uh, yeah. I've been checking up with some of my high school buddies uh, through Messenger. I barely know what the hell half my high school buddies are doing now. Uh, one of my... one uh, He wasn't really, like, a... He, he, he was someone I was kind of keeping a close eye on because he was going through some stuff and I kind of taught him some lessons, life lessons to put 
forward and use well, and he's doing pretty good for himself right now. He's he's got a girl, he's got a job, stable job, and he's doing well. And I'm really happy for him. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah, and I just found out one of my other buddies uh, got a job. He's like a not a CEO, but I think he's like he's like a manager or something of a company. I forgot what company it is. You know who it is, Zach. He came over our house one time. Uh, yeah. He also dropped the weed. Apparently, he's he's done smoking. Well, I'm like, good for you, dude. And he he literally told me without without he's like smoke like when you leave smoking like. Your view changes. I'm like, yeah, it does. He's like, I've never been, like, better in my life. I'm like, good for you, dude. Good for you. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm just... Bastard got to go to Ohio when uh, SummerSlam was... He was there for SummerSlam Live. Ooh. Guess who was also there? Yeah. Rustage. Well, of course. I, I had no idea Russ was a wrestling fan. Until, like, he posted it on his Twitter. I'm like, wow. Okay. Second try. It's funny because a lot of the nerdcore guys I listen to are wrestling fans. Or are wrestlers. Indie wrestlers. Like, Ke the Kevin Bennett, he's a wrestler. He's an indie wrestler. Like, independent wrestler. He's not with any, like, affiliate... Holy crap, that was awesome. I'm pretty sure. He's in, like, the Indies. Um, what else? What else is there? I hope, I really hope, uh, WWE manages to get all the items to make that museum, hopefully. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, somewhere down the line, if that happens, me, me Zach, and Dad are gonna go, we're gonna go see it. Well, because Dad also wants to see it, because he grew up with a few bits wrestling, yeah. and you can see, like, so something we, WCW we can actually guys. have something to talk about. Dad doesn't really watch wrestling as much anymore, but if we want to go see a live event, he'll take uh, us. We see it, and then Dash is going. And we, we keep him up to date with <laughs> oh, certain dude, stuff. Oh, dude, dude, he loved the Cruiserweight guys, like, in one of the shows. He's like, God, they move so fucking fast. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, dude, you should see some of the bigger guys <laughs> that do that sh Like, it's wild. Yeah, our mom did not like wrestling because her uncle forced her to watch wrestling when she was younger. <laughs> I think he honestly did it. I don't know. Wrestling was popular in the night. It was, yeah. And I, my uncle stopped watching wrestling. I don't know if he's still watching wrestling, but I think he kind of stopped after a while. Like how Dad did. Because the product started getting terrible because... Yeah. Again, senile old man. But eventually, he's now gone. Yeah, he's gone now. And Joe, now we don't like... I don't even think they're going to put him in the music. And now that like some of us do know why uh, the product started failing... Everything started to add up. Yeah, we might be getting an extreme belt coming soon. Oh yeah, Carrying Cross like hinted like, it, pushed for it, and I no, he he kind of hinted it. Honestly, them doing it while Paul's there, just for Paul. Yeah, it's just something. Yeah, well, because AEW's doing it, they have extreme matches. No, but they're probably they, not gonna be like ECW we or have AEW to, like bloody. No, but. the reason why they're doing it is because well, look at what like Bronson Reed and Braun Strowman did the, the uh, like a few weeks ago, where where like Braun Stro like fucking Bronson Reed did a tsunami up top of fucking car. Holy shit! I'm like, Bronson Reed's fucking wild. I'm like, bro, this shit's like from fucking Attitude Era. Like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Like, it was wild. When I saw him do that, 
And I heard the car crunch. I'm like, oh my god, that's that's dead ass a real ass car. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> like, he broke that car. You do he did. Straight up. You guys can't say wrestling's fake, because... Well, you like should have seen stage, Dominic's face in like, like last week. Like, oh my god! A lot of these guys get are real. Are re- dad's real? Like, look at Dominic. How do they have time to like fucking fake an eye injury like that? Like ankle injuries? Yeah, they can kind of fake it. Yeah. Not. But like physical, like face or face bruises, injuries. they can't. They can't fucking. You, you can't fake that shit. Unless with good makeup, but you really can't. But fake how do they that do that? Like. It makes no sense. We're not that technically advanced with makeup that, like, they could just do that. And why would they have them wear makeup to do that anyways? Some wrestlers wear makeup. It makes no sense. Yeah, some of it doesn't make sense. Um... People who say wrestling's fake, they're just ignorant. Like... And when they're like, oh, do you want to actually do it? They're like, nope. I'm like, yeah, then shut the fuck up. You know what it is, too? Those guys that say wrestling's fake have never actually, like, gotten, like, punched by another kid before or gotten in a physical fight. And if they have, then they're just stupid. I, I guess so. I've gotten in physical fights with kids before. Some I haven't told my parents until much later in my life. I've gotten a few Or some of my parents, like... No, no, no. Those ones, some of the physical altercations, mom and dad knew about. Yeah. They were fucking mad at me. They know your one, but they... I think the only one I've ever told them that what happened was, like, a couple of them, not all of them, though. And it's like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, dry. You actually got into physical altercations? Yeah. There were times, yes. Um, I'm not proud of this. Uh, not in high school. Not in high school. This is, like, I'm way not younger. In, not, actually, high school? I gotta remember now. I did not get it. I in. almost punched a kid in high school. I almost did. I was so close to just losing my shit and beating him up, but I didn't. Because I wanted outbursts? to Outbursts? I, I, had, I had a few outbursts. Everyone in the shop just knew not to piss me off. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the teachers, they, they, fucking they knew, they, they, like, they fu- if I snapped, it was going to be bad, so... And here's the funny thing. I told my parents, I'm like, oh, you think that's for my father? No, they, that's for my mother. And they go, your mother? I'm like... Because I rarely... I used to get... I used to have a short fuse, but now I rarely get angry. Dad? It takes a lot to get me angry now. Dad bursts. Ma holds her in. I, I used like to me. I used to be a short fuse. You remember, bro? Yeah. I'm not really like that anymore because I have really good move stabilizers. I just know how to hold myself better now than I did back then. I was an extreme hothead. Zach can attest. I was. I was very rash. I was very just uh punk like. Get angry first, ask questions later. I was a very drama queen. I was rash. I was just an emotional kid. I'm glad I got the pills that I have now because they really mellowed me out. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed us here. Don't worry, I will do more probably tomorrow. Yeah. Reason why I'm not doing wordscapes, and I kind of do want to end wordscapes soon. It's just that I don't have enough coins or power ups to basically carry me through World 13. It's kind of why I need to like start grinding for that. I am working on Magikarp Jump though for the last bonus video for that game. I am working on it slowly at a time. He's almost got everything. I almost have everything. Yeah. Almost. 
And then he's gonna show it to you guys what he's got. Yeah. Regardless, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Where I show off this uh, cool little design here. And I'll see you guys then. Peace to Crispy. Bye, guys.